How are you today, sir? Sam? What? S80. There's no response from the auto mechanic unit. A serial number etched in its chases includes the letters Sam. Okay, leave him alone. Whoa. Give me all that loot. Modern steel wrench in you. This book is heavily dog-eared with doodles in the margins. Spade. I guess I can sleep wherever the fuck I want to. Photo of Parvati's father. A stern older man with warm eyes. Oh, this is her room. I'm in her room. Ah! Doctrinal Studies 539 of Equity and Equations. These te textbooks have been out of print for almost half a century. The margins are filled with scribbled notes and many passages have been underlined. Some pages have come loose, the glue now yellowed and cracked along the spines. Journal of Maximilian de Soto, Volume 1. The scribblings on these journal pages are utterly illegible to anyone except Vicar Maximilian de Soto. Oh, this is his room, okay. Oh, Jesus, there he is. Hospital trading cards. In mint condition. Most of these cards represent players from the Hephaestus, Hammers, and the Tilebackers. The art and science of Tossball. Impossible to put down. Order of Scientific Inquiry, Office of Literature. This endorsement has been approved. Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Signed by Seymour Whitlock, who held the record for the most on the field of fatalities for three consecutive seasons. <laughs> what? God, it sounds like. So people apparently die in there. Oh. Uh, index of banned literature. Uh, okay. Don't need to read that. All right, sir. Hello. If I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe, little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Let's talk about the thing. You know, that uh, thing with the thing that you want to do. I'm saying it. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Crownbreaker? Uh... Yeah, that's the plan. Sure. <laughs> Just not yet. And I can sleep wherever the fuck I want on here. Okay, cool. I got that antique saber that I said I... Oh, right here. Look at that. What doesn't kill you gives you tetanus. Oh, okay. Wait. Did it leave my inventory? Oh, it did. Look at that. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Cool. That's cool, actually. That's pretty neat. Uh, but da but da Okay. So let's uh, look at some skills here. <laughs> Hopefully, I find a fucking two-handed weapon here soon. Okay. The dodge. All right, we're doing. We're getting that to forty, so I can recovery speed. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? Fucking permanent concussions. Ah, damn it. That's all right. Uh, uh, this one dialogue. Another perk. Alright, so it's between this one this one so it's between walk speed and tactical time dilation. I like the idea of just being faster overall. 
Like, I got sprint speed, and walk speed would be nice, too. And I could always go back and get this one, but I have a feeling that when I start getting into these, I'm not going to want to, but... You know what? Let's do this one. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. The car. You have a sawed off shotgun and that. Okay, you have no armor. And fuck. How? What? That gives him 10 armor? What the fuck? <laughs> Probably health again. Given, I'm giving them all fucking health. All of them are getting health, so they don't fucking die that easily. Alright, so... What was I supposed to... Okay. This one. The cleaning machine. Let's talk to her and be like, Yo, what's up? Oh god, my thirst. I guess I could, uh... Do that. Should probably sleep too, actually. Back, Whatever. Captain. I don't need to do that. Uh, know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago. I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify sand. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters. We may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly... Didn't see that earlier. Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes. Okay, jeez. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on a lost world? Uh, I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. <laughs> and what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Ooh! Uh, what about your last captain? Do you miss him? Or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. Aw, she's sad. You may be aware. Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together... Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of the ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Uh, okay, let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, Phineas's orbital lab. Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital <clears throat> destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. What do you know about Phineas? There is a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? What? Uh, no. Do not do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have oh. any laser weapons. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good then. Uh, why- why do you say the landing might be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas B. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting them. 
even knowing your location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. Uh, I want to ask you about somewhere else. Of course. What part of the colony? Uh, the Groundbreaker. We are cleared to dock with the Groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. The Mardets. Huh? Okay. Um, you can take care of that for us, right? my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Uh, okay, uh... <laughs> uh, great, thanks! You are more than welcome, <laughs> Captain. Um, no, I didn't move rooms, I just changed, uh, my camera angle. Oh, and hello, how are you doing? Um. No, it was a pain in the ass to move rooms, and I, so I don't really, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> uh, well, give me the spiel on the Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange branch of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. So, uh, how are you doing, Sabu? Uh, talk about something else. Wait, no, no. I got other. Uh, Terra 2. That's where I was. Emerald Vale and Edgewater. Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like, say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. What? Damn. What do you think of the townspeople? You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. And she does not like them. That's good to hear. Um, I do not use Google Docs. Hardly at all. Uh, so I have no idea about creating footnotes with that i would just i would just google it i would just google the problem and i'm sure i'm sure the first thing the first uh, result will give you an answer that's what i always do if i don't know something i just google it <laughs> I, I I just if I don't know something I just Google it and really what about Bing? <laughs> uh well that's weird. Usually I can find answers to all everything that I have problems with. But but no I I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't use Google Docs, so. And that's weird that Google doesn't have, like, a, an answer for its own document thing. That's kind of funny. Yeah, try, try Bing. I don't know. That's. Bing is, uh, I don't use it, but maybe it'll have an answer. Um, how is Edgewater faring since we left it? Since you diverted power to Edgewater, 
The botanical lab shut down, and the deserters were forced to return to town. Meanwhile, the cannery's output increased, enabling the town's population to prosper. Thank you for nothing, Captain. What? What would you have had me done? Kill everyone? I cannot say. First, I need to adjust my memory interpretation sensors. But I think the answer is... Yes. What the fuck? You want me to kill everybody there? No. What? Uh, ask you about something else. Monarch. Where in Monarch? <laughs> Stellar Bay. Ah, Monarch. The armpit of the Halcyon system. Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is if you don't count sublife smugglers. She's very cynical. For an AI. <laughs> Uh, why is Monarch being blockaded? I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness and a lawless land with no corporate presence. You may wish to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. Smuggler's port? It's sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband. And before you ask, I don't know the coordinates, so I can't dock us there. Yeah. Uh, uh. I mean, thankfully she's a machine act, so. Oh, not, no. Okay, dude. You're all right, buddy. Uh, so it's not gonna hurt her, but I just. It's kind of weird. Obviously, she's programmed like that, so. She's probably programmed. To think like, uh, the the previous captain, so he probably thought like that. So. But yeah, she wanted me to kill. She wanted me to kill all those people in that town I was in. <laughs> well, definitely was not gonna do that. Right. Hey, I think I got. Talk about something else. I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. It's been scientifically proven that those with more birthdays live longer. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, that is true. That is true, actually. That definitely is true. Uh, ADA, play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. <laughs> That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Well, that's bullshit. Okay, that's enough for now. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Thank you. Er, wow. Talk to you later, ADA. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. That's bullshit. I have a lot of bad luck, so... So I know luck exists. Alright, so let's... Let's see, uh... Let's go to this terminal and see... Yep, here it is. Search for Sam. First Sam result. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto-mechanical and Emerald Vale scrap heap during your last job. Should not be too difficult to get it up and running, with a few key modifications. I can envision a combat-capable variant, some might say, a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun! Removal of factory standard part Suds Steeper was successful. Delivery of combat-modified replacement part Acid Steeper have been delayed. Progress setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to, but I do. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal, who knows a broker, who knows a friend, who knows their mom, who knows their friend's aunt's cousin's friend, who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper I can, or filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pit stop. Back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. 
All right, where was that now? Let's turn Sam into a combat. Okay, so the part is in Roseway. All right. Okay, groundbreaker, groundbreaker, groundbreaker. All right. So I guess we're going to ground a breaker now. Got him. All right, let's sleep. Actually, you know what? No, let's... Just in case something happens. Just in case something happens. Oh, shit. Okay. So I'm right here. This is his lab. An abandoned asteroid facility located in the Rings of Terror 2. Repurposed into the experimental laboratory, living quarters, and hideout of Phineas Vernon Wells. Oh, damn, there's a lot of shit. Jeez. Well, not a lot, but. Um. What the fuck? Oh, this is just like a hologram of it. It's not the actual. <laughs> it's like, what is that? Obviously, that represents the sun or the star. Um. Yeah, let's just go to the Groundbreaker, I guess. Could go to Phineas's lab. Nah, I don't really need to go there. Wait, where's Roseway? Yeah, we'll go there, I guess. Pew! Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system, as well as some special points of interest that you may dis have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location they've unlocked, but some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. The groundbreaker. The groundbreaker. All right. Well, I guess we got to eat again. God, so much fucking food I have to eat. Can we chat? What? Uh, yeah. Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Um... I thought at one point I had heard something about it. But I don't think they... I... I think it was just rumors. I don't think they actually had ever said they were. However... I would not be surprised if they were it, well, they were interested. I just never saw anything official. Might have just been rumors, but but uh, that would be f that'd be awesome. There is a, there is a Star Wars game coming out in November, but it's not it's not going to be like Kotor. It's going to be more action RPG type. I'm pretty sure from what I've heard. Could be different i haven't i haven't looked <laughs> yeah, it's tainted i, I don't know it, it might it might be good but uh what about her i was thinking that maybe i bought a meter if you got time to swing us by i mean i don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships i bet you can of borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff yeah, I definitely, I, yeah, I definitely see what you're saying with the EA thing. And it's unfortunate, but. Yeah, just, espe yeah. It's unfortunate that it's come to that, but. That's gonna that's gonna happen. Like Bioware was a good, very good company, and then as soon as EA got its fingers in there, it just started to just go downhill. That's why I'm hoping Obsidian does not. I hope it stays its own company because they have done very, very well with their the, with their games. So.
Uh, sure, we could head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No. You're the one who want to talk to me, girl. All right. Groundbreaker docks. Oh, I get him. Wait. All right, let's go, Vicar Max. Yeah, I, I haven't actually, like, looked too much into the new Star Wars game, but I'm hoping it's good. Because we need a we need a new Star Wars game that's good. Like a single-player one. However, I wish it were like KOTOR and more of a more of an RPG than an action game. That's not the point. This halfway just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back big rat. Whoa. You this is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. Yeah. Go on, get. Go on, get. 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 All right. What up? Going for a stroll around the docking base? I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I heard he knocked someone out with a toss ball stick. It's the guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my Rangers and expect to get away with it. So, of course, I decked him with a toss ball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? <laughs> uh, Rizzo's Rangers? Only the finest group of toss ball players ever to take the field. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my Rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. <laughs> and that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. I like it. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? <laughs> no, I definitely I wasn't stealing anything. Uh technically the previous captain died in a horrible accident. So your ship's got a dark and violent history? This is just too perfect. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off. Guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. What? I never call your name. I'm Amrath. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, Felix. See you around, boss. I ain't boss. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Going for a stroll around the docking base? Man, I'm thirsty again? Good lord. I'm gonna need to fucking buy water like crazy. Alright, where am I going here? Oh my good lord. Where am I going? Hello? Oh, it says right there. I guess we can go talk. Well, that's right. Don't steal anything here. <laughs> Wanted. For various crimes and violations of board policy, including any or all of the following. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at. Who's this guy? Wanted, dead or alive, Captain Gunner McRed. For several counts of public intoxication, destruction of groundbreaker property, unpaid docking fees, and resisting arrest. Contact Commandant Sanita if you have any information concerning McRed's. Whereabouts? Failure to report a tip mirrors on imprisonment and fine. Proof of kill card. We get like a, like a quest for that? Oh, that's the same guy. That's quite the impressive list of infractions. Yeah, it is. Ooh, vending. Right 
Here we are. Got any cool shit here? Just got ammo. No, you don't got anything. Wait, I can 